Welcome to a quick overview of some example midterm projects. Now these midterm projects were created using Prezi and that is what you will need to do in this semester as well. The midterm has two parts that you need to think about. One is the actual presentation and one is the written portion. These examples are not perfect pieces but they have elements that are very good and are worthy of taking a look at. So let's get started. Here is a high school English example. Now I'm not going to go into the details and content of each of these examples but just to show you this is the students Prezi presentation right here. While they are presenting this information in front of the class they are referencing their notes and let me go ahead and open the notes here and so these are examples of what the student might be saying as they go through each and every slide in their Prezi presentation and if you're not familiar with Prezi to view the slide presentation you're going to click on start Prezi and then as soon as it loads and my machine's a little bit slow so it could take a second or two but as soon as it loads you'll get these arrows back and forth here at the bottom and you can simply click on the forward arrow and you will get to look at each and every one of the slides that the author built for this presentation again you will be making something similar for your midterm presentation don't worry if some of the concepts that you're seeing here are new to you you will learn them all before the presentation. Let's jump into an Algebra 1 piece. On this particular example, the person hyperlinked their notes right here on the front page. So if we take a quick look at the notes, we can see um, their content. Again, these are a direct reflection of the things that they are saying during the presentation. And here is the presentation itself. And this link took us directly out to Prezi and it will load here momentarily. And once it's loaded, we can use our left and right arrows to take a look at the different content. Again, as the presenter is clicking into each of these bubbles, they are saying the words that you found back in their note section. So their note section is the portion that they are using to prompt them to give a speech as they are talking about each and every one of these. I'm going to back out of this one. I'm going to take you and into looking at an art high school one. Now uh, something similar here, this student has her Prezi embedded into her portfolio and here are her notes for the midterm. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at these. She decided to put a screenshot of what she was talking about in her notes. It's a very nice touch. Do you have to do that? No. But again, a very, very nice touch to do that so that on the same screen as her notes, we can see exactly what she's speaking to. And in here, again, those notes are used to support what she's talking about throughout this presentation. So if I uh, go ahead and click on the start and get this to load, you can see as I click my forward button here that she's doing a lesson on African musicians and she's identifying her target audience. She's identifying her goals and objectives, her desired outcomes, her evaluation assessments and techniques. And if you go back to the rubric and look at strand one, you will see that all of this is exactly what's on the rubric. We will be talking a little bit more in detail in class about the rubric, and we will be talking a little bit more in detail in terms of what the expectations are of the midterm. But I hope you go ahead and take a look through these particular examples and take a look at how students wrote their notes how they put together their presentation and compare that against the rubric so that you have a better understanding of what you are going to be doing for your midterm.
that's it for now. I'll talk to you later.